Hey guys, it's Frog with Frog and Bird Gamers checking out another indie title for you today. This one is called Lake of Roaches, and all I know about this game is that it was developed in seven days for some fish jam challenge or something. Lake of Roaches starts off with the main protagonist, Bob, being woken up by his pal Bill, who is eager to fish. We are greeted to the scene with a cacophony of sounds that can only be described as a motorbike engine being dipped into an old blender. But the music is surprisingly well suited for the atmosphere that we're being introduced to and it could even become tolerable at lower volumes. Lake of Roaches initially gives off a vibe that you're in an unsafe place with inhabitants unaware of their surroundings, but this is no problem for the lively duo who managed to continue on without sweating the small stuff. Bill and Bob's old spirits are very much akin to those of Laverne and Shirley. They're two old souls caught up in awkward situations too self-involved for their own good, which kind of makes for a very unique indie adventure game. Not that I'm calling this an adventure game, I'm just not really sure what to classify it as. One thing that I really did like about this game was its art direction. I really do appreciate that like that MS Paint art form that is long dead since Photoshop. Um, it's not exactly like that whole like 8-bit thing, it's more like like old school Mickey Mouse meets like Wind Waker or something like that, like really like low poly looking stuff. Not that Wind Waker was low poly, but this I mean, it clearly is, but I don't know. It's just like the character's expressions and just how everything looks. And I really like that roach wave thing. I just think that looks really neat. Like the way that it just rolls in and out. It, it just looks cool to me. So in this game, you control both Bill and Bob at the same time. And sometimes they can get stuck behind walls. But it doesn't really seem to be a problem. The controls also seem to be a lot like you're controlling a car. Uh, you, you're gonna have to play the game to understand what I'm talking about, but you'll know exactly what I mean when you try it. Um, about this time in the game is, is when you do most of your exploring, and although it's pretty linear, um, it is kind of fun to just look at the buildings and, and the art assets that are here. Um, not everything is just the same thing tiled over and over again, which I did really appreciate. Oh no, we've turned into roaches! I don't know what this means. And now, thanks to the King Roach, here we are, just bugging out, I guess, crawling around. Uh, I'm not sure if that was how it was supposed to end. So we did some exploring and did find an additional ending, which more or less ends with you screaming about how you'll never leave the house again. For being created in such a short time, I am impressed with what the developers did get to get out in this game, but I'm not sure what they were trying to get across with it. So I'm going to say that this is a definite play, but don't expect to find too much more than what's already been shown in this video. Oh no, we fell into a lake of roaches! And that's where the title comes from. Thanks for watching guys, take a minute to like and subscribe if you haven't already and check us out in the following weeks when we do another video featuring homegrown games very own Gravedigger.